YouTubers and welcome to Mud Max Metal Detecting. Right, just a short video to show you a product that I have purchased. Um, back in autumn time, 2018, I was out with Damo and we were having a lot of fun and it got dark. And we still wanted to stay out and carry on having lots of fun, but we couldn't. Well, Damo could because he had a little torch on his hat. Some of you may have seen the video. So I decided to get myself one. I don't go night hunting and I don't do naughty things, but I do do a lot of DIY around the house. I do go cycling and I do like to stay out sometimes when it's getting dark and I'm enjoying the metal detecting. So I got this. This is the Cobiz or CBiz T6 headlight, head torch. I'm going to show you what you get very quickly. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the build quality with a close up and then we'll take it outside and we'll have a look at the beam. And then I'll give you my complete thoughts very quickly at the end. This was under £20 and of course I will give you the link in the video. Right, let's give a close up and let's get stuck in. OK, so first things first, you get a very nice case. It all comes in a very nice case. You've got your charging cable. You can use that on a low voltage three pin plug with a USB fitting, USB fitting. But just make sure it is low voltage, obviously, for these kind of devices. And you've got your instructions, uh, which come in a myriad of languages. And if I find the UK, I'll just quickly go through the charge for you on highlight mode you should get two to four hours that's quite broad so i guess they're saying it's probably going to be about three hours low light mode three to five hours and flashing mode about three hours so plenty of battery life for the kind of things that i'm going to want to do with this head torch now over to the head torch you've got adjustable tilt angles that's nice and stiff i don't think that's going to break anytime soon i like that you can focus in and focus out by pushing this in and out. So you can make the beam smaller or wider, depending on how you want it. Uh, a nice firm on off button in green on this side. I'll just point it at the wall. It's a nice firm click. Uh, you can't see that against the wall now, but that's a very, very, uh, very, very concentrated beam. There we go. Push it in and it widens it. Uh, so yeah. When you change the settings, by the way, you've got a light on the back. So the backpack that goes on the back of your head has got a light as well. And that's going to flash when you're on flash mode. That's going to be very, very good if you go cycling because you've got a safety light on the back. The rest of the time when you're out in the field, it will just give a certain amount of light depending on the two settings that you've got it on. So that's going to go dimmer when I drop it down. But you've got a little red indicator on the back. And on the back is where your batteries are. Let's just turn it off. As with so many of these lights, you have to go through all the modes to turn them off, but that's just life. I find most of them are like that. Okay, so you've got two batteries in the back there, two large rechargeable batteries. Uh, you're gonna get loads and loads of charges out of these, so don't worry about that. I think the product is 100,000 hours. So it's tried and tested. It's got a very good guarantee. I think it actually says it's a 10 year guarantee. Now I find it hard to believe that a product like this has got a 10 year guarantee, but there you go. That's what they say. That's the amount of faith they've got in it. It's not the lightest. You are gonna find lighter headsets, but then this is metal and it is quite well made and you get what you pay for, I guess. You could get something that costs a hundred pounds, which is gonna be super bright, super bright sorry. Um, and it's going to have loads of settings and it's going to be ultra light, but that's because it's a hundred pounds and that's what you're paying for. This is under 20 quid. For me, it's going to do the job. It's a little heavy, but it's not too heavy. As I say, it's quite chunky, a little bit of weight to it, but nothing major. I think you would need a serious neck problem for that to be a problem. But then again, who knows when I'm in the field, I might change my mind, but I really can't see it. It doesn't feel too heavy to have on your head. So there you go, very well made, certainly seems to be anyway. Uh, very nice headlight for under 20 quid. Uh, let's go outside and let's have a look at the beam and then I'll sum up with some thoughts at the end. Okay, just changing the angle of this now. Yep, about there I think for detecting. If it gets too dark or if I want to look in the back of the car, 
And that's full beam, and that is plenty by a mile. Put it on low, yeah, I could go detecting like that. I could look in the back of the car like that. That's plenty. And you can actually adjust this if you want. This has actually got a zoom feature. Right, okay. So let's have a look at the throw against the wall. That's on medium. That's on medium. Let me just... That's on high. Can't really see you needing high. Not just for... Back to me, please. Yeah. I think I'd be happy going along on medium. That's a perfect circle just to see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Very impressed. Very impressed. Okay, so overall I'm very impressed with the product. Um, I like the fact that it's pretty sturdy. I like the fact that the lens is adjustable. One thing I will say though is it's a good beam, but it's not a wide beam. Uh, this, as you saw outside, as I hope you could see outside, it's quite a concentrated circle of light. The further out you go, the wider it gets. But when you're looking down at the ground, it is quite a concentrated circle, probably about four foot wide. So if you like to do a nice wide swing, well, you are just going to have to turn your head a little bit with it as well, because uh, you will go outside of the circle of the light fairly quickly if you like to do a nice full swing. I don't see that being a problem personally. I'll just follow the coil left to right as I'm going along. And yeah, apart from that, really, no complaints. Uh, yeah, for under 20 quid, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like when I get it out in the field. But uh, first impressions, very, very good. Time will tell, of course, as with all products. So this is just an initial review. Time is always the judge of these things. But so far, so good. And I like it. Link below if you fancy trying one. Okay, until the next video, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you soon.